What up, YouTube? Ray Ray here, Fabulous Bulldogs, checking in with you guys today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's being safe out there. Today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update on what we got going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. If, by the way, if you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can stay updated with more videos from Fabulous Bulldogs. Anyway, on my last video, as you guys may already know, we had two females, two females that were still um, holding on. Fortunately, one of the females did not make it. Um, her lungs and things weren't developed. And we kept her in the oxygen machine, um, in the, ox um, the incubator with the oxygen running in there. And as long as we kept her in the incubator, she did just fine. But as soon as we took her out, she was gasping for air. So just to let you know, her lungs and stuff weren't developed. So um, we kept her in the incubator. She wasn't eating or anything. She wouldn't latch on. Um, I didn't two feed because I lost the other two puppies from two feeding. So I tried to get her to latch on. She wouldn't eat anything. So she held on for a long time. She held on for like a day, a day and a half. And then she passed away. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers and everybody for all of your love and support um, during that time. This type of stuff happens when you're breeding dogs. Um, it comes with it. You win some, you lose some. But um, I'm one of those people, I just love dogs, so I hate losing puppies. And I tried my hardest to keep them alive, but nothing seemed to work. And then it just seemed like they were just falling off back to back. So it was like a whirlwind. But um, So she did pass, she's no longer here. But we do have one female who's been holding on um, she is doing amazing. As you guys can see, she's eating right now. She's eating good. Got my girl Starburst right here. She's doing good. But yeah, you guys, um, I, I read some of you guys' comments. And um, I'm not one of those people I don't like to, um, like to feed off of other people's downfall. But... Um, I'm truly, truly blessed. I didn't lose my female because some of the comments, people were talking about how they lost their female and things of that nature. I still got Starburst, she's doing great. Um, I was a little worried about her because she was having a little discharge from her incision, but we got her on antibiotics and she's starting to do really, really good. The puppy is doing really, really good. And yeah, you guys, it's just a part, it's just a part of breeding dogs. You gotta take the good with the bad. And here at Fabulous Bulldogs, I try to give it to you guys raw and uncut and no edit. And um, I just tell you guys how it is, you know, and, and try to be really, really transparent with you guys and let you guys see the ins and out about breeding dogs. But I love it, you guys. This is a passion. I don't want to show you guys all the negatives because there is positives in this as well. Like this beautiful girl right here. Out of all the ups and downs and everything, look at this beautiful, beautiful girl. She is looking thick. She's short back. Look at the smash muzzle. She's alive and well. I see her tri markings coming in. She got a nice size head on her. And she is reminding me more and more of Starburst. Look at the color. You can see how Starburst looks kind of a purple lilac. She is looking kind of a purple lilac as well. Look at this girl right here. Man, she's beautiful. And I knew that this breeding was gonna click because it was it's a line breeding, so it's chrome blush. Yeah, she's gonna be three times chrome, short, mini, and she is doing amazing. See, so when you see things like this and you see all your hard work and everything, I wasn't a it wasn't a complete loss. You know, I might not have had all the puppies that I wanted, but it could have been worse. I could have ended up with no puppies. And this girl right here, she is holding on. And I'm just excited to see how she's going to turn out. I know I said that I was thinking about keeping her, but I'm undecisive still because I want to make sure I want to see how she looks about five weeks when her eyes open up and we get to see her structure and everything like that, you guys. So I'm still undecisive because I just don't want a whole yard full of dogs. I want a whole yard full of quality dogs. It's quality over quantity over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. But by the look of things, this girl gonna be nice. <laughs> she is gonna be nice. She's chunky. Look how chunky she's getting. Nice size head on her. And she is doing amazing. She is doing amazing. So, yep, she is the last girl over here at Fabulous Bulldog. So I'm truly, truly blessed. Lay down, mama. Lay down. Let the baby eat. 
lay down, good girl, good girl, mama. Let the baby eat, mama. Uh, there we go, mama. So I'm truly, truly blessed over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Lay down, mama. Lay down, lay down. Excuse me, guys. Got to go ahead and get the baby on there. Because it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. I could have ended up losing, losing Starburst and losing the puppy because Starburst, she started going into um, labor er, um, real early. Um, we brought her back home because her temperature and everything um, went back to where it should have been, about 101. So we came back home and then she started having that black discharge. Because the guy on my comments was like, you should never take the puppies out early. Don't let nobody uh, tell you to take the puppies out early. And um, that wasn't the reason why we took the puppies out early. We took them out early because she had undeveloped puppies in there. And she was starting to, um, she was starting to have that black discharge. And that means that she is trying to push. And if she pushed too much, because you know English Bulldogs have the big head, the puppies could end up getting stuck. And I could end up losing, losing Starburst and I would have been devastated. So God, God willing, she's doing good. The puppy's doing good. We do have um, one puppy over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. And like I said, I'm thinking about keeping her, but I'm gonna wait until about five weeks where I can see how her personality is, see the quality of her, see her structure and everything. And um, then I'll go from there. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to give you a real quick update, real quick update on what we got going on. Let you guys check out this pretty girl for a minute. She's strong, super strong. Fat face, nice size head on her. Lilac, and I see her tri markings coming in. It's kind of hard to see her right now because she's so little. But her tri markings are starting to come in. She reminds me a lot of Starburst. A lot of Starburst. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. I'm going to go ahead and put you down. But yeah, so this is the only girl that's off of the litter. I'm blessed to still have her, you guys. I will keep you guys updated on this little girl's um, process. I was thinking about naming her um, She-Ra off of He-Man because she's strong <laughs> and she's been right there sticking through this whole process with me. So go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so you guys can stay updated on what's going on here at Fabulous Bulldogs and watch my girl She-Ra grow up since she's the last surviving puppy out of the litter of four and she is doing amazing. Look at that puppy breath, smell that puppy breath. <laughs> so in the next couple of weeks, her eyes should be opening up and things. And I'm excited to see this girl grow up. That's what makes it, this type of stuff right here is what makes it all worth it, you guys. It makes it all worth it. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat that breeding with Solomon. So you guys get to see her quality. So the next time around with Starburst, um, you guys will know what the puppies are gonna look like. So we get to repeat that breed. It's not a complete loss over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. I want to thank everybody for all your love and support and um, all the nice, kind words that you guys said on the last video. It really helped me get through that process. And I know these are growing pains. That's going to help me be a better, a better breeder. And um, basically, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from, from this litter. I learned what to do, what not to do, and, and everything. So as long as you go through those things and you learn from them, it's not an L, you guys. So God bless. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed. God bless and have a good day. Peace.